Hello everyone, welcome back to our Java tutorial series. Today we are going to start a very important topic in Java that is called object oriented programming or I can say OOP concept or somewhere we have also here the OOPS concept. So as you know Java is an object oriented language and learning this principle will give you a strong foundation of writing scalable, efficient and reusable code. So in this video we will introduce the key concept of OOPS and we will see how it is going to help us in the future. So what is object oriented programming? OOP stand for object oriented programming. It is a programming paradigm that focus on using object to design and build application. These objects represent the real world entities and help organize the program in more efficient way. By grouping data and behavior together, OOP will make the code more modular, flexible and easy to maintain. Please do not worry about what is object and class, definitely will cover everything. So currently they have four major principles that is going to define the OOP and for now I am just going to give you a glimpse but I will cover in detail in upcoming videos. First one is called encapsulation. Encapsulation bundle the data and method that operate on the data into single unit or I can say class and keeping thing organized. So you can see this image. It is a simple example of encapsulation. It is like a capsule that is containing everything method and variable and the capsule is called class. Inheritance. It allows code to reuse where one class can inherit the properties of another. That means you can get the feature of parent one. So like how we got genetics from our parent. Polymorphism. It enables one method or operator to perform different based on the context. So here you can see one interface can be utilized at so many places. That means one method can perform differently on different different contexts. Poly means more than one form. So steering can be in one interface but the implementation on different vehicle will be totally different. Abstraction. It will hide the complex detail and expose only necessary part to the user like the currency I can say or a simple example is our smartphone. You don't know what is happening inside but we are just seeing like what is the necessary things we have to see but we don't know what is the hardware how it is working. Why object oriented programming? Object oriented programming helps in real world application development by making code reusable, maintainable and easier to debug. Instead of writing lengthy code, OOP allows us to break the problem into smaller and manageable pieces that interact with each other. For now you just understand it is feature of OOPs. So I just told like we have four principles but how it is going to benefit us. So encapsulation means binding into a single unit. Inheritance means inherit the properties of another. Polymorphism means one method or operator to perform differently. Abstraction means hiding the complex data and exposing the necessary part. So four principle example we already saw and this is a small definition for you guys. So Java is fully object oriented language meaning almost everything in the java revolves around object and classes in java you create a blueprint called class and based on the blueprint you create a object that represent the specific instance so what is class class is a template or blueprint of creating object and it defines the properties and the behavior properties means fields or variable or behavior means method and object is a instance of a class when you create a object you are binding the class to the life with its own specific value and the last one is called method function defined inside the class that describes the behavior of the object that is called method so you can take example as a dog is a class and in the dog color age gender breed these are the characteristic of a dog that means the properties are variable and dog having behavior like eat sleep sit run all these things are behavior so i can say here it is a method for now you can just understand like this so this is a small glimpse of object oriented programming language so what are the things we are going to see in upcoming videos so we are going to talk about classes and object we'll try to see the example with the code then we are going to see the constructor how we can use a constructor to initialize the object then method we are going to learn how to define and call the method including method overloading and overriding then inheritance and polymorphism so we'll see how inheritance and polymorphism works then abstraction and so many things is coming so that's it for today video see you in the next video